Yeah, give me a sec. All right. What do I pay you for? Fight! All right, there we go. Let's do it. All right. So, uh, to when you're watching, we've started with Hidden Stance, so we did some basics uh, when it comes to punishing. And uh, yeah, so those are the three main ways you can punish, right? The kick, which is the easiest way, as in it will work in the most in the most amount of cases. If you sometimes even if you dodge a light attack, you will get the kick. Um, the lights, which are guaranteed mostly on situations where you dodge something out of um, yeah, based on read, and you can kick afterwards as well, which is not guaranteed, but you know, on matchmaking that will definitely hit a lot, even on high level it hits. Um, and the third way is the hidden stance heavy into kick, which this is 50 damage. If you do it um, from top, if you're possible, if that's possible, then that's like 60 or something like that damage. So that's a that's a lot. But okay. But first, you sh I think that then all of this is gonna come with experience, so we're going to know um, when to use which. But at first, I would advise you to use the uh, kick. And then okay. you know, then go go uh, later with that. Okay, so that's the like the basics of an instance. Later on, I'll I'll talk some more about like specific things like uh, uh, like against Kong or against Warlord because I assume those would be like a difficulty for you at your level, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. So it Kong is a difficulty at any level, but um, you can you can you can deal with it as as Nobushin. Um, now, when it comes to 4v4, because 4v4 is the one you want to be playing the most, right? Yeah. So, you have uh, three main attacks in 4v4. You have Cobra Strike, you have Signed Wonder, and you have Zone. Um, oh, nice, I'm incapable of zoning. There we go. Um, now, those are the three main attacks. Now, Wait, what was the first one? Light? Uh, it's just Cobra Strike. Yeah, uh, dash light. Those egg are, uh, nipples! Egg yeah. nipples! So, all of these attacks are easily parried, right? So you have to be... So a big part of playing the bushing 44 is realizing when to use those atta attacks and how to make yourself not get parried every attack. Because right. um, in the 1v1 scenario, those are not attacks that you can use offensively. Because all of those... Like, Cobra Strike is 500, I think Standard Wonder is either 600 or 500, but either way it's not very quick. And the mm. zone is 600. Those are very easy to at least block, and at co on, even on console they're easy to uh, to block on good connection, and they're very very easy to parry. Um, and so in the one v one scenario you don't want to use those, but then in two v two and four v four those become your main tool. Um, so when it comes to cover strike, you want to use that as like a punishment tool because it has pretty good range. Uh, like the forward one has pretty good range. You can you can delay yeah. it a decent amount. Um, so you. You have to just get used to delaying it the most, and then obviously then it has the most amount of range possible. Uh, but you can see like you are pre pretty far away from me, and you can hit me. I yeah. think I think from this direction, yeah, even even from that kind of distance, you can hit me. So combat strike is used mostly for um, well, first of all, applying bleed. So later on, you can you know maybe can get more damage, or your shaman can pounce if you're playing you know with a shaman mm -hmm. on your team. But it's used for punishing people who try to punish your teammates. Or punishing people who want to use an attack with a lot of recovery, um, right. or simply a long attack. It can be used very easily against, for example, Raider Zone. If a Raider whiffs a light into a combo zone, the moment you can see him start, the moment you see him start the zone, you can combo strike, and that's you know, first of all, you stop him, stop him. Second of all, you get 26 damage, um, and he's bleeding, so you can you know he can't really do much else. Because if if he tries to do that again, then you can do an attack for more damage, and you can hit him with you know. Uh, with a lot more damage because Nabushi gets more damage when the If he cancels beating. that into pommel, will it still hit? Uh, I mean, yes. Uh, I'm talking about situations where it's they're not doing it on you. If a raider is right, zoning right. you, then you hit in stance. And you don't care about anything. Yeah. yeah. I, will, I will show you later the, the timing for, for those uh, specific things, but um, that's what Carbet Strike is used for uh, the most. Egg Punishing people who are trying to Egg use. Um, like longer covering moves or just simply long moves. Okay. So a lot of like target switching. Yeah, like target nipples, switching. Giving him one of those and then switching yeah. back. Yeah. yeah. Later on, we can we can like play a couple Dominion games or something, so you you know you can get used to mm. get used to all of this. But 
yeah, this is what Karba Strike is for. Um, zone is used similarly um, to re punish people's recoveries and punish people's long attacks. Um, but zone is used slightly more specifically to punish people who are on your right. Because you know the hitbox starts uh, starts on your right. And yeah, yeah. Um, it's 400 ms, which means it's pretty much unreactable on your right. Um, so you have to, uh, of course, um, you have to position yourself in such a way that there's always someone on your right. So if there was someone to the right of you, I would do it on you and hit them. Um, to the right of, you mean? From... Oh, your le your left. If there was someone on your left. Yeah, yeah. If there's someone All on right. my left here, then you can do that, and you've got um, and you've got like they, they can parry it, right? Obviously, if they're not mm. locked on. If you if the attack is not locked onto someone, they can parry the attack. Egg nipples, um, egg. Nipples. So that's that's very important with the zone. To be able to use it in a way that doesn't get you parried, and egg nipples, I think I have to turn off my notifications. Give me a second. Uh, I forgot that when there there's a lot of people watching, there will be a lot of notifications, and my notifications are uh, slightly loud. So <laughs> give me a second. Um, just to make sure that this 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 doesn't get interrupted much. <coughs> Uh, where is this? Uh, I am not smart when it comes to streaming. I think it should be here. Okay. All right. <coughs> okay, are we, are we ready to continue? Okay, uh, so that's Carpet Strike and that zone. Uh, now the next thing uh, is Sidewinder. Now Sidewinder is also very easy to parry, but the way you use Sidewinder... Uh, by the way, are you here just to make sure? Okay, let's, <laughs> let's wait I guess. Oh, I'm muted. Hello. Yeah, you were muted. Okay, <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm slightly stupid. Okay, now we've gone through Cobra and Zone. Um, now the third one is Sidewinder. Uh, Sidewinder is yeah, is this one. Um, now it's very also very easy to parry, um, but uh, what do you want to what do you want to use it like? Is you want to use it looking at someone else? And for example, imagine there's someone behind me, right? Now you're looking yeah. onto that person behind me and you're using Sidewinder like n not on that person, but you're using it on me in a way. If that makes sense to right, you. Right. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So then I can't, if, I, if, I, if I'm blocking, first of all, um, I can't parry it, right? But if I'm just blocking, then I can't really move. So I'm stuck just kind of sitting here, just like, okay, well, let me just like, take the, you know, the five chip damage every time I block. Um, and I can't move. That's the most important part. I can't really move because you know I can dodge, I can roll away, but that can get punished as well. So that's an important. Yeah. So that's a pretty important thing to do. Now, of course, you have to be careful of your stamina, but I mean, you can't spam it. But of course, uh, it, it doesn't take that much time either. You can use like four or five of them in a in a row, just fine. Mm. Um, now, uh, that's what Simon is mostly used for. Um, it's very useful when there's a lot of things happening and you just lock onto someone else and you just, just start pretty much spamming it and sometimes people just get hit very very even at high level people get hit a lot by that because um they keep thinking that um there's some other attack coming and then you know right. they, they for example they get hit by that attack and then they get hit by your side under and that just keeps piling up the damage um and it's a heavy, uh, heavy stun. So that means that if, even if they block, you know, things like shaman pounds or some other bashes are guaranteed as well. But that's probably not going to be very useful in matchmaking. But Sidewinder yeah. is um, is very, very useful for that. And obviously, if you one more thing for mid, because as Nobushi, you're going to be in mid a lot um, in Dominion. As Nobushi, you can also Sidewinder as you locked on to people. You can Sidewinder the minions very, very well. It's the best minion mm -hmm. clear um, if you're locked on to someone. Otherwise, it's, you know, 
can get slightly annoying then if you're not locked onto anyone you do zone but if you are locked onto someone you do sign under um okay so for the basics that should be around it i think um unless there's some questions you have uh, about anything that i've said so far or something like that no okay so now let's go um let's go for feats uh, what fees do you run in in for you for as Uh in Dominion. Yep. I have been running let me just check. Uh body count, revenge okay. attack, sharpen blade and fire trap. Okay, two of those are two of those are okay. Uh, <laughs> revenge attack is very very bad. You Okay. It's it's actually I think one of the worst with tier 2 uh feats in the game. You want smoke bomb. Um, okay, and uh, soon we will go into a um, into a random like just one v one dominion game, and I'll show you some of the things. But smoke bomb is super super good. Uh, I will show you how it works again in, in a custom in a bit. But you want that, and then for your tier three feed, you want second wind. Okay, second wind on top of recovering sixty health, it also cleanses any bleed you have. Um, so it's really good against shaman. It's really good against sharp and blade. Um, against fire as well, I think. So if you get hit by a, a PK, PK by PK lights, uh, while she has sharpened blade, and you use second wind, you will pretty much re uh, restore your entire health bar. Okay. So that's important to know. Sharpened blade isn't that bad on the bushy. Like it's a fun feat, but generally speaking, you want second wind. Um, and tier four is fine. Uh, fire trap is, is is what you want to have. Uh, and then for like right. tribute, if you play tribute, you would have speed revive instead of uh, speed revive uh, instead, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's about that's about it. And then yeah, so that's feats. So let me uh, start up like a random dominion game, and I'll show you some things. Uh, later on, we will get someone most likely um, like a, an additional person, and then we'll be able to show some more things easily. Uh, now what is this? Okay, so blah, 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 gear stats off, no uh, bots, okay. <clears throat> Alright, the next, okay, just go to the other team. Okay. And, uh, okay, yeah, just pick those feeds that I, that I told you. And, um, I want to show you sm how Smog Bomb works the most. Smog Bomb has a couple uses. Um, because the other feeds are pre actually fire trap. I'll, I'll talk to you about fire trap as well. But you know, body count is pretty obvious how it works, right? And what you want to be doing with it. Um, and second wind is also pretty useful. Anytime you're bleeding, anytime you're pretty low on health, and it's better to stay um, rather than running away. For example, to heal on a point, you want to be doing that, right? You want to be right, using right. second wind. So those two are pretty obvious. Um, now, when it comes to swung on my fire trap. Those two you want to know how to use um, quite specifically. Okay, so uh, smog bomb. Do you know what it does? Except just you know, yeah, it, it makes the enemy not be able to target you, right? Yeah, it makes the enemy not be able not be able to target you, which is very very useful in mid. For example, if you're fighting a one v one in mid, um, like like as if you're fighting right now, I can just use smog bomb, and you have to run away. You have you cannot stay here unless you use your own smog bomb, right? Um, yeah. You cannot parry, you can block, but you cannot parry, which which means there's actually just no point in you staying here. And it, uh, oh, sorry, it lasts for around like 15 seconds, I think. Um, and then the mid is mine. Like so usually, you can just smoke bomb and sidewinder spam on someone, really. Yeah, if they they cannot block, they cannot parry, you can only block. Um, a lot of people will roll the moment you use smoke bomb, so. Um, if you know that, you can try and zone them, for example, or you can try and unlock and, sp and sprint attack them, something like that, to get some damage in, right? Right. Um, so sm that's one use of swarm that is really, really important. Um, like, for example, if you're trying to attack mid right now, um, you cannot win a 1v1 against a Nobushi as Nobushi, right? Nobushi can't really win 1v1, in generally speaking. Um, so you want to walk up to me, you just be very, very close to me, and then smoke bump, and then I have to run away. I have, I cannot stay here. And then you can um, get control of mid. Now, Citadel Gate is a slightly different map because it's the mid is so big that um, it takes a bit to take all of the uh, yeah. kill all of the minions. But 
you already see, like, just by using your smoke bomb, you already pretty much have met, or at least almost have met, right? So that's very important. Um, that's a very, very big use of the, of the feat. Um, another use is, uh, let's go A, I'll take it, and I'll um, show you how it works on points. Because they buffed it a while ago, uh, when it comes to points. So let me capture it and then get on it. <coughs> Alright. Now, the way it works, um, the way Smobon works on points is, I, fr I pop it, and as long as you're in the smoke bomb, it acts as if there's nobody, like you don't count for the game. Yeah, so it's, it's your point still. Yeah, so I'm I'm healing right now, like if uh, obviously so I'm full. So you heal to full yeah. during that smoke bomb. Yeah, I can heal, uh, I can keep getting points, right? Um, and, if, uh, and if you're the one using smoke bomb in that situation, it works the same way. So I would still heal. Uh, actually, no, it doesn't. Yeah, that's true. Uh, they made it like that. Yeah, so now, right now you're stealing it. So I lost it. So that's the way it works. I, sorry, they changed it recently, I think. Uh, or maybe I'm just stupid. Uh, but yeah, so that's the way it works on points. So if you're on your own point against someone, you want to smoke bomb if you're not full health, basically speaking. Okay. Um, right. Or if there's a team fight happening, for example. If, if I'm here with uh, one of my teammates um, and there's three people coming, I will just smoke bomb the entrance and they have to either just give up fighting or they have to wait like 15 or so seconds or they have to roll away try through and, the smoke. Roll through it. Yeah. yeah, but that's punishable, right? I can punish, uh, Nobushi can punish rolls with uh, Viper Retreat on a reaction very easily. Um, uh, so that's, that's an important thing to note. So smoke bomb, and if you're attacking a point, you can use it to try and take the point. Uh, obviously, obviously, no one's gonna just stay there, right? No one's gonna stay in the smoke bomb, but if you're low um, and you're on an enemy point, it's really good for um, stalling. Right, right. I just noticed that you've got auras disabled. Um, sorry? You've got auras disabled, right? Uh, auras? Like, you, can't, you can't see, like, uh, effects. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I uh, I do I think because um, I've seen you as an ice dragon, but on your screen you were just normal. Yeah, no, no. Oh, uh, no. Actually, I think uh, I think it depends on the load that they have. But um, either way, so that's smoke bomb. Um, and smoke bomb is also something that I already said, but I want to re reiterate on it. Is that it's very nice when it comes to stalling or when it comes to being ganked. Like if you pop smoke bomb when there's two people attacking you, they can't attack you. So yeah. that's you know that's, uh, so that's you can like buy time for yeah, your you allies can, to yeah, come. Yeah, you can buy time, um, you can even start being aggressive because they have to both roll away so they're losing a lot of stamina. And if you can yeah. if you know that they're gonna be rolling away rolling away, you can punish that with like a zone or, or, or a sprint attack. Now the next uh, feat that I want to talk about, like because again the second one is pretty pretty uh, uh, self explanatory. But actually about second one, you want to use it almost almost any time you have it. Um, okay. As long, obviously, as long as you need the health, um, because it has a decently uh, slow cooldown. Uh, sorry, decently short cooldown. Actually, um, I think it's a minute. If someone, um, if someone's in the chat and can tell me if I'm wrong here, but I think it's a minute. Um, so, I want you to think of feats with low, with short cooldowns like this. You're using a feat, and if you're thinking 20, 30 seconds on how to use it and you then end up using it again like 30 seconds later that means you've wasted an entire minute of thinking when to use that feed which is an entire cooldown of that feed yeah. right if that makes sense mm -hmm. um so that's why you want to use second wind and any kind of feed like that because i know you're playing other characters as well so if you're playing for example shaman and she has stun trap and bird trap you want to use those feeds pretty much as they come because the moment you use them the cooldown starts <laughs> right? Yeah. So then, yeah, yeah. so then, uh, you know, forty-five seconds later, I think, in both of those feeds, you can use that again. In some of second wind, you can use that feed again in sixty seconds. Um, okay. So another, another feed, the last feed I want to talk about um, is fire trap, and fire trap is a really good feed for two reasons, two reasons or two ways to use it. Let's say one way to use it is um, if there's a big team fight happening. A lot of Nobushis will just kind of roll into a fight 
pop a fire trap and just roll away. <laughs> and just kind of like suicide bomb themselves. Uh, they will most likely die, right? Uh, or at least be very close to dying. But, it, you know, they will deal a lot of damage. And fire trap stays for a long time as well. Um, so it's a really good feat for that, for team fights. You can, you can, you know, you can roll in or you can pop it. Uh, so you can use it and then roll away. Either way, it's a really good feat for team fights, like really big team fights. Um, the next use of it is in mid. I kind of want you to think of it as like a better uh, smoke bomb. Yeah. Um, in mid, because uh, once my cooldown, uh, once my cooldown. Um, and um, what I, if you have mid, you can uh, just pop it in mid, and you, can you walk into it? Uh, yeah. Walk fire trap. And now this doesn't. It, oh, this will kill my minions very very slowly, but will kill my opponent minions very quickly. Instantly. And, yeah. yeah. And with body yeah. count, notice how I'm healing the entire time here. Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah. So. On this map, again, Sildgate is a very wide map, so mid is going to be a lot harder to hold with just one feet. But on a map like Sanctuary Bridge, you can just pop it in mid and leave. And then, if you're lucky, you can be low and then someone will pop it by accident, by the opponent will pop it, and then you will, you will start healing with the enemy in, uh, enemy minions uh, in the middle of a fight. That happens sometimes. Um, but either way, for the entire duration of Fire Trap, as it, as it pops, the, the opponent cannot control mid. So that's crazy. Yeah. So the moment you she's have like the queen of B. Yeah, she's really good in mid, um, and that's where you know you want to be spending a lot of your time. So when the moment you have fire trap, you can just put it in mid. I want that, like the first time you're gonna have fire trap, I want you to immediately put it in mid and just leave, unless mm. it's unless it's like a you know like a, obviously depends on the situation. But a lot of the time, I want you to just put it in mid and leave, go do something else. Um, because you know mid will be safe for at least the duration of the fire trap. Um, right. And I want yeah. you to go into a fight and maybe if someone pops it, maybe you will just start healing. And you will just have like another life, another like 100 health from all those minions. Right? So, the fire trap is really useful for that and again for team fights, as I, as I said earlier. Um, so those would be the two main things I wanted to say, well, the, this couple of things I wanted to say about, about feats for Nobushi. Um, yeah. yeah, so when it comes, again, when it comes to fire trap, we want to put it in mid most of the time, unless it's a big, big team fight. Um, oh, someone asked in, the, in chat, is healing coming from only fire trap? No, healing comes from um, killing minions and you have body count. So fire trap is killing minions. Um, oh, you're asking, okay, so any feat that Kill, that can kill minions, you will be able to uh, heal off of it. Yeah, like if you use like Catapult or Arrow yeah. Rain or any of that stuff, yeah. it will heal you. Yeah, uh, but Fire Trap is, is very, very, like it's pretty big AoE. It's big enough to where on Sanctuary Bridge it's almost the entire mid. Yeah, um, I didn't realize Fire Trap is on such a low cooldown too. So oh, no, no, the cool, no, the cooldown is not this low. Uh, I put it in, uh, oh. uh, I put the cooldown very, very fast, very, oh, very low. I was going to say, I was like, what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> no, it's not, it's not, it's not this broken, right? Uh, I put the cooldown very quick, very, sorry, again, very low, just to make sure that we can use it a couple of times per game here. Um, I think the cooldown is two minutes or, no, actually, no, I think it's two minutes and a half. Again, someone in the chat may correct me on this one. I think it's either two minutes or two minutes and a half. Either way, it's a decent cooldown, it's to the point where, you know, you will not be using five fire traps per game. Um, but you, very often, if you use the, your first fire trap, um, the moment you use it, the moment you have it, sorry, then you will most likely get another fire trap in the duration of the game. That's the kind of cooldown we're talking about. Yeah. Um, so don't be afraid to use it, uh, and just use it the moment you have it in mid. Okay, so when it comes to feats, I think that should be it. Um, yeah, body count, obviously, if you have speed revive and tribute, you obviously know how that works, so that's uh, very, very simple. Um, yeah. Now, A lot of people are saying that um, when I get gear, I should focus on speed revive and attack. For, uh, um, okay, so when it comes to gear, there is a thread that I will post, uh, that I will give you, and I will post it in the chat for people who are interested in that. Um, which pretty much just talks about what gear you want to have in general. Um, okay. I think it's correct. 
Um, generally speaking, it's from Frank and Doodle, who is uh, someone who usually makes those kind of friends and us- usually very, very correct. And it's, generally speaking, 100% upvoted. So, you know, um, it should be good. Um, but generally speaking, I am not the person to ask about gear because I, when I play matchmaking, I don't really care about gear. Personally, because yeah. I play mostly scrims and I play mostly uh, tournaments, right? So I, in those, obviously, gears gear is uh, disabled. Um, so if you look on if you look in that link, it should be uh, you should find a lot of information there. Um, okay, is there anything else I want to talk about before just jumping into a game with someone? I'm thinking. No feats we've covered. We've covered the basic basic attacks that you have. Um, Okay, um, actually I think then we could get like two people and start a 2v2 and uh, we could see some of the things that I was talking about in practice. So if there's two people in the chat who would want to um, join, uh, just give me an invite on, on your play, I'll learn again, unless there's people who I already have. Um, and we can get into a game. Oh, out of stamina punishes, actually, you're correct. Yeah, out of stamina punishes and parry punishes in general. So we'll go over that. Uh, okay, multi. And I need one more person. If anyone happens to be online or wants to join, uh, I'm Alan. I can only play if you want to join. Um, yeah. Do you know out of stamina punishes for Nabushi and just like normal parry punishes? Uh, I know you get top heavy off a light and mm-hmm. zone off a heavy. Uh, top heavy, wrong? top heavy off a light. That's correct. When it comes to heavy par- uh, heavy parries, you get a viper retreat. Uh, oh, okay. Which is twenty six damage. Is bleed twenty six damage? That's uh, that's back and light, right? Yeah, that's back and light. Um, right. And that you want to do that if they're not bleeding, or if they're above above one bar. Um, okay. Actually, so, sorry, Melody, I will kick you from the group for a second because um, I want to show this because I think this is actually pretty important. Um, let's go to a dual map again. <laughs> sorry, Melody, give me a second. Um, uh, no damage. Actually, no, I want damage here because oh, I want to show you something. No gear stats. Uh, comes to yeah, no time. Okay. Now, um, when it comes to parry punishes, now the the light parry punishes, we know that, right? You you know you get a top heavy on a light parry. Mm-hmm. Um, when it comes to heavy parry punishes, there's two things I want to tell you that. Or that are very important. First of all, you get, you know, as, as I said, Viper Retreat on Heavy Parry or a Sidewinder. You also get a Sidewinder on Heavy Parry. Um, so if they're bleeding or if they're about one bar, you want to do Sidewinder because then you will get the execution. And if they're right. bleeding, you will get more damage. Usually, Sidewinder does 25 damage with bleed it deals 30, which is a lot of damage. Oh, for, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Which is a lot of it's damage. Yeah, uh, every attack of Nabushi deals more damage, except bleed attacks, deal more damage when the opponent's bleeding. So if you get a light parry on someone who's bleeding, you will deal 46 damage if you're top heavy. Wow. Yeah, it's it's a lot of damage. Okay, so um, I want to show you something. Do you know how... Uh, oh yeah, Melty, thanks for the link. Um, Melty, do you, uh, Melty it's just, sorry, stripping. Do you know how you can kill someone with chip damage? As Nobushi. No. Okay. I will show you this. Uh, just, I'm just gonna make sure that you're low. Okay, now start blocking attacks. Block every heavy I'm doing. And you're dead. Also, the bleed goes down as the chip damage hits, and then it kills you. Yeah, the way it works is that... Um, Chip, you can't kill with chip damage, right? So here, it's not necessarily the chip damage killing you, it's the bleed. It's the bleed, right. Yeah, so um, the game gets the, like, shows, uh, or like, it takes the real health that you have, not counting the bleed, and it, it as long as that uh, health, not counting the bleed, goes to zero, then, you know, as your bleed uh ticks then you will be able to kill the person now that's really useful um if for example if you get a heavy parry and the opponent is just above one bar you don't want to do side wonder you want unless they're bleeding you want to do viper retreat and then if they know that they um and then you will you can go into your mix-ups because 
they have to parry you if you if you do a heavy or you do a zone, right? They have to parry you. So there's a lot more mix-ups you can do if the if the opponent's bleeding. You have you have a decent amount of time because the bleed does take a a decent amount of time to take. Um, so that's one thing I want to tell you because I think that's pretty important in situations where the opponent's low. Um, yeah. Oh, actually, uh, I will do a heavy and you do a sign wonder. Let's make sure that you know how to how to do the sign wonder of a parry because sometimes it can be very like, difficult. Yep. Just just that. Just gonna do a couple more heavies. You have to do it on the side you parried, right? Uh, it doesn't matter. They changed that. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, and uh, now just do a viper retreat. Oh. <laughs> well, oh, no. I, 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 after a parry. Yeah, it also this also doesn't matter in which moment or it's which is side you do it, sorry. Okay. Um, okay, so that was mostly what I wanted to talk about here. And out of stamina punish, do you know what out of stamina punish is? No. Nope. For Nobushi? Okay, so go out of stamina. Okay. This is her out of stamina punish. Um, what it is, is you throw, if you get the guard break, right? If you throw the person forward and you wait a little bit, then you do compass strike and then you do a top heavy. It's around like 71 damage, I think. Um, so that's uh, that's a nice amount of damage. Now kill me and just, to, just so that you do it. Yep. Now I will go out of stamina, you... Gabrick me and you try to do the cover strike. The cover okay. strike has to be delayed. 71 but damage is disgusting. I want you to know that. You know, yeah. I'm a Valk and um, my max out of stamina punish is uh, 24. Actually, no, you're out, you're out of stamina punish is pretty good as well as well because you can, uh, if you get a Gabrick on someone who's out of stamina, you get a forward throw into, uh, sorry, side throw into a heavy, into a light, into a sweep, into a heavy. What? <laughs> Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> right, you, know, you have to teach me Valk as well. I'm I'm not a Valk uh, player, All but right. I'm sure I'm sure there's others who would be uh, who'd be more than me. Okay, I'm going out of stamina. Okay, just do a guard break. Yep. You want to do top heavy rather than side okay. heavy, but I okay. I than that was good. I'm, I'm, I'll go out of stamina again. Oh. And that's the damage. Uh, that's the damage you want. So this is how we do it. Um, I just wanted to make sure that you, you know, you know how to do it. And then, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the other stamina punish. That's the heavy and light parry punish. Um, yeah. Okay. So now <clears throat> I want to get the people to do melty. a quick, yeah, multi and havoc. Come melty. Come melting, come to the dark side. Uh, and Havoc. Okay. Invited. Um, yeah, Reptile, that's what that's what um I was I was talking about you can you can do both. Um, I was talking about delaying it, and I'm not exactly sure what Sam was doing, but either way, it was working out, so it's just fine. Uh, okay, what's the next thing? Okay, the ring. Just to make sure. Okay, I'll have no damage for this one. Uh, just to show you some of the things, and so that you can see exactly what's going on when it comes to um, like the zone. And things like that. Okay, get on my team. Okay. I don't think I have sing I don't think I have single pick. Yeah, I don't so. <coughs> does it matter who I take? Uh, nope. It does not. Okay. So here, what I want you to do is I want you to get used to Nobushi's hitboxes. Um, so, uh, one of you be on Okay. So uh, first, uh, I want you to get used to the zone. 
uh, hitbox because that's really important. That's a big part of Nobushi in any mode, uh, except I guess 1v1, but we're not talking about 1v1 here. Um, in both the v2, 4v4, and doesn't matter it's elimination, tribute, domin uh, dominion, or anything else, uh, the zone hitbox or zone in general is a really important move. Um, so I want you to get used to its uh, hitbox. So one of them is gonna move to your right. And yeah, lock onto the Kensei. Yeah, and try to do the zone just at any, you know, any kind of range that you think is going to hit. So you get used to it really quick. Yeah. Yeah. It has decent it has decent range on, on, on the side as well. Yeah, that's simply what the fuck? That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. It's a pretty good range. Uh, and yeah, remember, like from behind too. Yeah, that, uh, it's instant. It's almost instant. It's 400 ms. So it you the opponent will not be reacting to your zone coming from that side. Um, so I want you, yeah. So just do it a couple more times, so just to make sure that you're used to it, and then we can go to Signed Wonder because Signed Wonder has a really wonky hitbox as well. And if you can use it, use the hitbox, then that's going to be very good. Okay, and like one more time. So. Alright. So now, yeah, now the side wonder. Try to hit Melty. Like, you lock onto the Kensa and try to hit Melty with a, with a left side side wonder. Okay, that was slightly. Let's keep trying. Oh, wait. See? It has really good hitbox oh. as well. Oh my god. Yeah. What the Once you get used to that hitbox, it's going to be a lot easier for you to deal with uh, multiple opponents in team fights. Yeah. See, it's it's really really good. That's crazy how far back it goes. Yeah, it goes a lot. It goes very very far back. And also about the zone, it hits in all directions, so if Melty is on your left, you can hit him with the zone as well. Um, just to make sure oh, that you... Yeah, the, just to do, like a, do like a normal zone. Oh, now it, because of the range, it's slightly, uh, slightly difficult. But switch target and do other side too. Oh, uh, I think he means... Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, 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 when it comes to the zone. Yeah, um, and yeah, and, uh, okay, so now, what I want them to do is, now, okay, so, lock on to, uh, lock on to Melty, lock on to the Nobushi, and just use Sign Wonders on Kansai, so there's so that you know exactly how this works, yeah. And you, th you know exactly how many you can do as well. Um, yeah. So, this... Sorry. As I said before, this is really good for locking people down or making them dodge. And if someone <laughs> and if someone dodges in a, you know, in a team fight, that's something that you can punish. Um, so, that's very, not, very good at kind of disabling people, I guess I could say. Um, yeah. Obviously, they cannot parry, so you're completely safe on your side. Um, most of the time, you're safe. There are some ways to punish it, like Conqueror can full block it, for example, or Nobushi can dodge into Cobra Strike. But the, mm. most of the time, no one will be punishing you for this, um, as long as, of course, you don't, you know, like thoughtlessly spam it. As long as you're playing yeah. against, even if you're playing against good people, I don't really get punished in tournaments for it very, very often either. Um, so that's a really good way. And you can do it with any attack, right? You can do it with a, with a light attack, you can do it with uh, with heavies, yeah. literally anything. But obviously, um, you can do it with Cobra Strike as well, but obviously the easiest would be with Zone and with Sidewinder. That's why you want to be using Sidewinder, because it takes way less stam, right? Um, and anytime they block, that's, I think, 5 damage, chip damage. Which is not going to matter much in like a 4v4, but in a 2v2 that matters a lot, more than you would think. Yeah. Um, because usually in 2v2 there is no um, there is no revenge in 2v2 usually in tournaments, right? Mm. But in 4v4 there is always revenge, so spamming that on the person uh, is you know going to be going to be giving them a decent amount of revenge. But you 
you know, you pay that price of giving them revenge for disabling them out of the fight. And do, doing some damage to them with, uh, maybe if they try to try to uh, dodge it and they mess up, because the hitbox is very, very big, right? So... And the, f the fact you're locked onto someone else gives them less revenge, right? Um, In a way. Okay, so the way it works, um, I can tell you, do you know about the tagging system in revenge? I, all I know is if multiple people are locked onto the same person, they get revenge faster. It's not locked onto, it's hitting. So, the way it okay. works is, if that Kensei that you are not locked onto is the only person, is, you're the only person that's hitting that Kensei, they will not be getting much revenge. But if there's multiple people hitting that Kensei, then he will be getting a lot of revenge. Right, does that, does that right. make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, step back, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for the host. Right now we're in, in the middle of a lesson. At some point? I don't think so. It may have been changed, but I don't think so. Um, but yeah, the that's how the tagging system works. So, for uh, uh, when you hit someone, whether it gets blocked or it hits, that person gets tagged as being hit by you or is like in a fight with you for a short amount of time. I don't know the exact amount of time. I think it's around five seconds, but that's not important. A short amount of time, right? So, mm. if another person, as you, as that. As that person is tagged in a 1v1 with you, if that if that person gets hit by another one of your teammates, now they're tagged in a 1v2. And if they're tagged in a 1v2, they get a lot more revenge. Right, right. I, I can show this to you with very easily with bashes. Um, if for example Kong and Shaman are just spamming bashes at you, you will get you will get um your revenge in two or three iterations of those bashes. If they're just spamming with no fault, right? Which on matchmaking happens a lot, where people just get a oh, lot of revenge. That's why I give everybody revenge all the time as a Valk. Yeah, I'm tr Valk cannot do anything not to give people revenge. I'm trying to protect them with shield bash, and I'm actually just yeah. hurting them more. Yeah, oh actually, yeah, that's yeah. a good, Melty has a good idea. Just to show you how, how this works. Yeah, tag him and, and bashes. Um, so they will tag you? Do uh, you, you be in a 2v1 tag? As long as Havoc tags you. Okay. Like, I'm, I'm sure you're seeing how much revenge this is. Yeah, see? A couple times and you have revenge. Right? That's why as uh, uh, as someone who's trying to gank, you want to be thoughtful about your attacks. Now, as Nobushi, you can't really do much. Um, your best bet when it comes to finishing people off in a gank is uh, this now? I will gut break. Yeah, I will gut break multi, and you. Um, as I gut break him, you cover strike him. Okay. Okay. Oh wait. Okay. Thanks. Um, now I will gut break multi, and as I gut break him, you cover strike. Oh yeah, you have oh. to. You have to be able to. Yeah, I fucked up the switch. Okay, look at multi just to make sure that this actually works. Okay, Viper Retreat, Corbus Strike both work, but Corbus Strike has more range. Okay, so obviously you can't say because there's no damage, but Bleed doesn't get mitigated. I'm sure you've noticed if you try, if um, if I do the guard break and you do a heavy, I'm sure you've noticed this in your games, the heavy, if the person can't guard breaks, the heavy is mitigated. The damage is reduced. Yeah, it does, it does no damage, yeah. Yeah, but Bleeds don't work this way. So you're... So anytime you see a guard break on in a team fight, as long as you're overseeing the battlefield in a way, if I if I if I may say so, um, if you're looking at what's happening in the fight and you see a guard break, you can lo lock onto that person who guard broke or who is getting guard broken, and you can combo strike them for full damage. Nice. Right. So that's full twenty six damage. So in a, if someone's one bar, that's a really good way of finishing people off. Um, in uh, in like a gank, but of course, if someone's low, that means they probably have a decent amount of revenge build up, and Gabriels do give a lot of revenge. But that is your best way of finishing people off as Nobushi, uh, in a gank. Um, just cover strikes. Obviously, in matchmaking, people will most likely not be guard breaking for you, so you can cover strike, or you will not be like throwing heavies. Uh, so that uh, um, a shaman can get a uh, bleed pounce in something like that, but. You, you're, you, as long as you have those basic principles in mind, you can still deal a lot more damage than you would otherwise without those basic principles. So as I right, said, like right. anytime you see a guard break, cover strike. Now another thing, um, 
do you think you have dash cancels uh, all uh, mastered when it comes to dash the machine? Dash, dash cancels? Yeah, you can cancel a recovery of any dash attack and zone and uh, viper retreat with a dash attack. With a, with a dash. Yeah, so it's, it's whether it's Sidewander, whether it's Cobra Strike, um, whether it's zone, right? You can cancel all of those, the recovery of all of those with a dash attack. Um, and this is a really, really big part of team fighting in 4v4 and 2v2 as well. Um, because if you um, if you do a Sidewinder and you don't cancel the recovery of it, you have a lot of recovery on that move. Just like, try right. to do a Sidewinder and don't cancel it. Just wait. Look how long this takes. It's garbage on block. That's how bad it is. If yeah. you don't cancel the recovery, that's why canceling recovery is very important. And if you do cancel the recovery, um, you can go into your other dash attacks, right? You can go uh, into another Sidewinder, you can go into a Cobra Strike, you can go into a Roll as well, right? If you want to r run away from the fight. Um, and when it comes to Sidewinder, you can only cancel the recovery into side dodges. Actually, no, you, know, you can do it in side, side dodges and forward dodge. And it's the same with Cobra Strike. You can cancel in as long as it hits, right? With with Cobra Strike, as long as it hits or uh, something like that, then you can cancel the recovery into forward dash and side dash. So that's important to tell, to to know. And as I said, that's a really big part of Nobushin team fights because both zone and Cobra, uh, sorry, both zone and Sidewinder are guard break on block. Um, right. If you don't cancel the recovery, that's like the let's say the issue of Nobushi, where a lot of th all the times in team fights you will do a dash attack and then, uh, for example, an an MP an enemy PK will be positioned around you, and she will just guard break you. She will just guard break you if you don't. Um, uh, she will just guard break you if you don't do another attack. Uh, and as Malti said, you can cancel recovery of a dash attack or any any attack that you have. You know the capability of canceling the dash recovery, mm -hmm. the, the recovery um, with a dash. You can cancel into a roll, as well. So that's uh, if you want to run away from a fight. That's important to know, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. You can just do it like that. Um, okay. So when it comes to these moves, I think that's about it. Um, I think the think the most important will parts will come from just learning, uh, in in game, right? Just uh, experiencing all those things and getting experienced. Um, yeah. When it comes to all of this, uh, now I'm thinking, if there's anything else that you might really need to know. Um, there's. Uh, okay, when it comes to ganking with PK, uh, oh sorry, with not PK with uh, Nabushi. Um, there is one more thing that you can do, um, which is uh, remember how hidden stance heavy guarantees a kick, right? If it, whether it gets yeah. blocked or hit or it hits. So if someone's pretty low but not quite low for just to just get to just die from one cobra strike, you can um, do that, and you know that's around 50 or 55 or so damage, maybe around 60 even. So you know that gives a lot of revenge, but you can kill people off with that. So that's just yeah, just that's just that. Um, okay, I'm thinking if there's anything else. If anyone in the chat has any questions about Nobushi that might lead me to getting more information here, because I may be forgetting something, then uh, go ahead. Oh, uh, actually, uh, when it comes to kick, um, if you kick someone into a wall, you can do a heavy. Okay. Yeah, I was. I, I just. just um, no, top heavy there, right? Side heavy. The way it works is um, you have you get the heavy um, that you have the guard uh, before kicking. Ah, uh, okay. So you know this is just like a wall throw, but it's the same with kick, right? Try, try like do a yeah do a kick and then do a heavy in the same direction. Okay. Uh, okay, so you want to try and be in top stance. When yeah, you, you want to you want to try and be in top stance. Um, now, uh, ad additional thing is uh, if you do it, 
if you do the kick and you have your guard left, that works as well. But it doesn't work if you do your do the kick and try to do the heavy on the right side. If you have for some reason, if you have your guard right and you do the kick, you can't do the heavy. The heavy will just get blocked. It will it will just not do anything. You will just not do the heavy. You will think like you just okay, I guess I just messed up the input or something. But that's the way it works. Um so if you try to do a kick and you have your guard right and try to do the heavy, the heavy will just not come out. So try to so do you it. Go for like a... Oh okay. Just to, just to see, yeah, just doesn't see. Like obviously, he, he yeah. could have blocked. It. He was not locked on, um, but you can block that. Um, yeah. So in that situation, you want to just do the light. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, now let me check the uh, check the chat. Can swift recall be used in mix ups at all? No, it's used. Swift recall can be used. Um, Swift recall can be used against Nabushi when it comes to heavy hidden stance kick. And um, oh yeah, actually, Stripen. One thing that you may want to know is that sometimes, if you do, um, uh, if you heavy someone into a wall, depending on, uh, depending on the corner you're in, you will get the next kick for free. So get, you get you can get another heavy into it. Uh. Now that only works in corners. Like this will not work here. He will be able to dodge the kick. Um, but if you're in a corner, just to, like I'm not going to be showing you, of course, every corner where it works when it doesn't. But just make sure you know that if you're in a corner it, and you get a kick into a into a into a wall, um, you can get the additional next kick for free. Just, right. just so that you know if that happens in the game. Plus, it's a quick. The kick, kick, kick is pretty quick, so you know you may just catch people who are you know not reacting to it properly. Uh, okay. So I could, I could technically, I could do hidden stance, heavy kick, heavy kick. Um. In the certain corners. Yes, pretty much. Um. Nice one. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much on some. There are some, uh, some corners where you can do it infinitely, until the guy dies. <laughs> so um, I don't. Yeah, that, uh, that's know. the kind of stuff you're supposed to DM me after the stream, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the kind of stuff that you know I cannot I cannot let Ubisoft know so you don't fix it, right? Um, yeah. So. <laughs> so that's you know if you're in a corner just do the kick uh, okay uh, now the last thing I want to show you and I want to uh, teach you um, sorry if Melty and Havoc thanks for the help now uh, from now on we're gonna be okay by ourselves um, until we get into a game into like an yeah, actual thanks, guys. yeah thanks a lot um, okay so what I want to show you next is um, Hidden stance timing on some things. Um, so we go into a 1v1, you go in the bush tree, I'm going to go Raider. Because I, I assume Raider is somewhere along the lines for you, uh, where he can be annoying, where you can get zoned and you eat 50 damage, right? This can be annoying. Yeah. Okay, so I want to teach you against Raider specifically, and after that, maybe like one more character. I want to teach you the timing to avoid all of his uh, options with hidden stuns. Um, now remember, in hidden stuns you can counter guard break, so that's not an issue. Um, so now I'll just be doing zones and I'll be mixing them up and you try to find the timing that works where you dodge everything. Okay. Um, the most basic mix up is just going to be, you know, zone or zone standing tab. So try to do it as late as possible. To the point where you would dodge everything. Okay. Okay, slightly, slightly late. Yep. And uh, oh yeah, I forgot to turn off damage. But if you if you dodge this, you get uh, double lights. So just yep. Um. Yeah, or you can kick, of course. Okay. Now let me start mixing it up. Ooh, okay. Yeah. See? 
Um, so if you use a correct timing, you will dodge every move. Yeah. And of course you can punish, but you know, here I'll just die if you do so. Yeah. And uh, remember, out of hidden stuns you can dash almost immediately out of it. So, um, if I do, for example, something like this, and you see me faint, you can dash out of it. Okay. Uh, okay, dash maybe the other direction. Uh, yeah. Okay. Or, or just yeah, or you can just do do that. So um, just so that you know that you can just kind of dash out of it, and you can guard break, uh, counter guard break out of it as well. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's basically the timing. Now, of course, you know in real games you will probably you know mess it up sometimes, but that's um, you as as long as you know the timing then. Uh, a lot, a lot of okay. Actually, one one thing. When it comes to raider, a lot of the time, what the raiders will do is they will just like whiff a light and then they will go into their uh, zone, right? Because then their zone deals a lot of damage. It deals yeah. fifty. So in a team fight, they will just lock onto someone else. For example, let's say there's someone behind you, right? Um, I will just whiff a light, go into raider zone, and I will just let it go because you cannot parry it. Mm. So then hidden stance just beats that. It just destroys it, right? The, the you you uh, dodge it with hidden stance. You do your heavy into kick or you do your double light. Both are guaranteed. I'm pretty sure. Um, and you know you don't have to worry about that. And the raider gets punished really heavily for trying to do his you know his big move, his big damage move. So mm. as long as you get used to that, um, you're going to be punishing those raiders or any any other you know character that can use a big unblockable very very well. Um, okay, uh, do you know what option selects are? I don't know if I necessarily want to, to teach you option selects, but do you know what option se selects are? No. Okay, so there's a couple option selects that are different in this game. Now the e the uh, most obvious one is zone option select. Zone option select. What it does is you press zone at parry timing, and it either parries the attack. Or if the opponent faints, it will hit the opponent. Right. So I see. So I will do a heavy and you zone at uh, heavy parry timing at you know at my top uh, guard. Okay. So you parried, and then uh, I will faint to a guard break. See, this is how it works. Um, mm. Now this is the most basic option select. Uh, with Nabushi, there is one more that I will show you. Um, and I will not, you know, I will, I will show you how it works. I don't necessarily tell you, I'm not necessarily telling you to use it very, very, um, you know, like all the time. Because first, I think there's other things that you need to learn uh, or like get used to, like the hitboxes that we're talking about, the feats and things like that. But once right. you get better with Nabushi, that's something that you want to start incorporating. So the most basic one is the one with zone. With zone, it beats uh, feint to guard break and beats the attack being committed. But it doesn't beat, for example, faint into 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 a parry, because they can just parry your zone, right? Yeah. Um, so there is one more option select with Nabushi that beats that, as in not necessarily beat it, beats it, but it is safe against every option that you can do to be to uh, attack me. So. I want you to um, do a heavy faint to guard break. Okay. On me. See? So you're cancelling your heavy into... Yeah, I'm cancelling... Yeah, I'm fainting my heavy into Hidden Stance. And in the Hidden Stance, you can... You can counter guard break, obviously, right? Um, which means that... Uh, you can be safe with going for parries. So I will do a heavy now on you, and you try and see if it works for you. Okay. You can counter guard break. Remember. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. You, you yeah. have to get used to the uh, timing of it. See. The uh, cancelling it with the stance is super, you have to be so fast. Yeah, you have to do it at the same time as you throw the heavy, pretty much. So that's what I do every time. I, I see an attack, and I'm like, okay, let me just do this. And 
I just do it at the same time. That way you will get it consistently. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Okay, yeah. Just remember, okay. you can you can count the guard break, okay? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, as I said, this is not something I'm expecting you to use, you know, in your games today or, you know, like in a week. But that is something that once you get better at Nabushu, you will realize this that that's the, something... This is the end game. Yeah, this is pretty much the end game, yeah. This is like, as long as you're... You don't need this, as long as, you know, you're... Um, making sure that you know how to use hitboxes you can improve your uh, usage of zone you know light corporate strike and shit like that um so those are the things that you that are the core mechanics of renobushi and you know dodging things with hidden stance and this is like the end game as you said this is like uh when you get really good at nobushi you, you want to learn this because this is going to make you like pretty much unpunishable when it comes to 1v1 and yeah. things like this because then you can just do the heavy out of the stance instead right and get the kick uh yeah that's too but uh what i meant more is like i cannot mix you up I, if i do a light you can parry at light timing and um yeah. you can go into heavy uh, into hidden stance and if i do a heavy you will dodge the hidden stance if i do heavy feint to guard break you will be able to counter guard break so this yeah. beats almost all mix-ups. This doesn't necessarily beat, for example, something like heavy feint into a light. Those things can still catch you, but that's you know, for in, for in the bush, that's twelve damage, right? Or mm. or if she does a viper, she does twenty-six damage. But this doesn't, you know, this is not something that um, is going to be easily beaten by anyone. And this is something that as long uh, as you get really good on the bush, this is something you want to learn. I just wanted to show you this so that you know that this is the thing. Um, yeah, that's cool. And that th there's, you know, there's always something to work for or work towards, I guess. I want to show you this. But this is not like a core mechanic. Um, okay, so is there anything else that we need to, I need to tell you before we go with just into like a Dominion game or something like that? Um, no, man, I think you gave me a lot. Yeah, I, g I did give you a lot. So, of course, <laughs> if you, if you, um, if you forget some of the things, you can go, like, watch the vault or something like that, right? Um,